Let's face it, when it comes to rendering 1440 rainbow colored divs, you're probably never going to get above, say, 25 frames per second on this M2 Mac using React. Unless you bring Million into your React app and use it to render those divs, and then you get a really clean 60 wow. frames per second. Check that out. Let's talk about this example, and I'll show you how to integrate Million into a React app and how to make this happen, and if you should use it in your React app today. Let's get right into it. That snazzy new intro is brought to you by some fans over at Liminal. There's a link to them in the description right down below. They do really good work when it comes to video production and also React development, so check those folks out. So here's the starter code for our rainbow rendering React application. It's built on top of Vite and, of course, is available to you in the GitHub link in the description right down below. Let's take a look at how this is actually working. Let's start with the app. We have some state in there. It's an array of colors. Those are the colors of the rainbow. We initialize those from an array of rainbow colors using a rainbow gradient NPM module. Then we have a use effect that uses a request animation frame. Request animation frame calls this function that rotates the colors. We use request animation frame because it gives us the fastest possible update. That's the reason why it's used in a lot of animation libraries. And now that we have our array of colors, we give those over to the React Colors component for rendering. The React Colors component is simply just a big old flex box row where we go and have divs for each one of the items in that array. And each one of those slices is given a min width where that min width is just a fraction of 100% of the view width divided by the total number of colors. That gives us a full screen rainbow. So let's go take a look and see how fast this is. So here's our rainbow. I brought up the inspector and then gone to the rendering section down here and selected frame rendering stats. That gives us our FPS up here. And this is doing pretty good with an array size of 360 divs. But what happens when we go and add more divs? Let's boost this up to 1440 divs. Save it out and see how we do. And you can see it slowly dropping from 60 FPS down to now 25 FPS. Kind of doop, 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 doop. Okay, so now how do we bring this back up to 60 frames a second? Well, we bring in million. To do that, we stop our application. We add the million library. The next thing we want to do is reconfigure our Vite. We're going to bring in the million compiler and then add that before our React plugin. Now, theoretically, this should make no difference at all. Let's do dev again and see if we can see if there's any difference. Nope, seems to be running around the same 25 FPS. That's actually good because what that says is without actually adding any million stuff into our code, that million compiler is just going to let everything through as is. So now let's go and add in million. The first thing we're going to do is copy this React Colors and make a new component called Million Colors. That's going to be the million implementation. Now to make our component a million component, we need to wrap it in a block. So we need to bring in block from million. And then we need to wrap our function in that block. So instead of doing this as a function, I'm going to do const. And then I'm going to wrap this in a block. And of course, I need to do the fat arrow. So now we have our million colors. Let's go down here and try it out. And now we are rocking at a full on 60 FPS. No kidding. It was that easy. Now, there is one enhancement that we can do, not that we need to in this case which is to use their built-in for instead of map. So let's just try that out and see if we can get any improvement. I don't think we will, but it's just another thing we can do to see if we can eke out some additional performance. So bring in four. And now inside of our million colors, instead of this map, we'll use a four. And we'll get rid of the map. And we'll close out the four tag. I actually don't think we need a key, so we can get rid of that. And get rid of the index. Now let's try it out. And yeah, there you go. Same thing as before, 60 FPS. So you also see four over in SolidJS. And that actually makes sense since I think Million takes a lot of inspiration from SolidJS. Apparently it leaves off at inspiration though, because even though the performance metrics between Solid and Million look very familiar, the actual implementation underneath the hood is very unfamiliar. Apparently there's a new novel DOM implementation that Million has going on that is not what Solid's doing. There is a deep dive section on the Million.js site if you want to find out more about how it's doing its performance increases. But in the meantime, here is some advice for you when it comes to using it in your own application. What I would do if I'm looking at a legit performance issue with React is first exhaust 
every tool in the toolkit that React gives me. First, use the React dev tools to see if I can find where the performance issues are. And then look to see if I can use tools like use memo and use callback, as well as React memoization to see if I can get better performance increases out of React itself without having to bring in something like Million. And then if that doesn't work, yes, I would take a look at something like Million before I might look at porting my entire application to something like Solid or Quick. The reason for that is because Million allows me to do surgical performance fixes to particular components, which I can't do if I'm going to Solid where I'm porting the entire application. All right, I hope you enjoyed this quick look at Million.js and how to implement any React application. Of course, all the code is available to you in GitHub for free in the link in the description right down below. In the meantime, if you like the video, hit that like button. If you really like the video, hit the subscribe button and ring that bell and you'll be notified the next time a new blue collar coder comes out.